did not catch the stage that they are going to be playing on. Okay, his two, the Vegas favorites. And Joja with the immediate turn up pull. You know, he wants to have that projectile on deck. Ness himself has a lot of projectiles to work with, so you always want to be matching up with that. And Fo with the instant aggression, he got one hit off and he's going to be taking it a mile. 68% on Jojo already and still carrying that. All right, and Jojo, you know, coming back with his own hits down to two. Uh, very good percent. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and this is, this is actually a little ridiculous. He got a lot of percent himself. So this matchup is going to be very explosive between these two players. Jojo with the turnip pull once again, trying to get a snipe. He, ooh, okay. The stall. Foe does like to stall on ledge with PK Thunder, PK Flash, Psy Magnet. And Jojo going to be taking full advantage of that, getting the forward air to take the first stock pretty early. And now Fo is looking for his own stock. The Piggy Thunder chases. We always see him do this. It's so irritating as a player to have to escape this Piggy Thunder. But Jojo not really letting it get to him. And he's living for quite a long time as Peach. Going to be making it back to ledge. But the back throw from across the stage should be it. And now Fo, not a lot of percentage for him to make up. But Jojo, we're going to see if he's going to be able to take this. Uh, to another stock. We saw how easy he can get his own percentage and he can secure kills pretty well. So Fo, uh, not quite struggling, but it's just a lot of uh, whiffs right now. Not a lot of punishes, keeping space. And Jojo sitting, uh, playing above Fo a lot. I want to see if he's going to do anything about that. In the PK fire, oh my god, the counter coming out right there. From Peach, not quite going to get foe though on a ledge card situation right now. And welcome back, Z. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, coming back here just to help commentate out for a couple of these games. Um, we have JoJo and foe. It's game one. Ooh, and it's uh, really yeah, close, actually. It's, yeah, JoJo's been doing a good job keeping toe to toe with combo percentages on foe. He got a really good stock as well. Well, when Fo tried to stall on ledge, you know how he likes to he likes mm -hmm. to stall. So Jojo called it out, got a forward air, really good uh, low percentage stock, I'd say. Yeah, and he's actually racked up 59 with a lot of actually just pressure on the ground, which is a uh, I don't want to say contradictory to how Peach plays. Usually Peach puts a lot of pressure from the air, but uh, Jojo doing a lot of like movement, really low to the ground, and then forcing shield and reacting appropriately by getting some grabs and was able to net 66, now 79%. Now he's getting some yeah. of those stray hits right now, which is uh, causing Ness a little bit of trouble. Offstage, excuse me, Fogan in that forward, uh, forward air to fourth throw, uh, bringing it back a little bit closer. Freddie, no stranger to comebacks here, but I, mm, I wouldn't say this is one of the biggest comebacks, but JoJo is a character that, you know, can explode Ooh. and tries to get that neutral, yeah. get a read. Yeah, Peach, you know, has a variety of moves that are going to kill. So at this percentage, Fo really has to watch out, and JoJo is not putting any space between them, being really aggressive, trying to catch Fo's ledge options, his recovery, everything that he can do. Yeah, and he was able to get uh, a nice mix-up on the shield there. Ooh. Oh, man, great turnip pressure coming from JoJo. I like that Freddy is responding appropriately, taking his time, not rushing to get back up, reads the double jump, was able to get his forwarder, and now has JoJo off stage. But that down smash, I don't think that was a... That, I think that's a missing I think it was, yeah, I, I feel like he was going to drop down and maybe do like a down air or a back yeah. air or something of that nature, but I think it just came out too fast. Maybe, who knows, maybe he was trying to read a ledge get up. Yeah, it, it, it could have been anything, really, but... Jojo going to be securing that game one, and he played very well. He was definitely keeping up uh, with Fo. It wasn't like he was getting any sort of cheese. It's like, oh, yeah, he got, you know, he did this one thing that took the stock really early. Like, he was, he was solidly in advantage for a lot of that. Oh, absolutely. And you can see the confidence in his face right now. He's feeling really good. He's shaking his head like, yes, I got game one. Half the job is done uh, for this match. And it's qu winner's quarters, remember, so the uh, winner of this advances into top eight. And so we're going to see, uh, you know, who's going to go ahead and take the winner's side. So far, JoJo in the advantage after winning game one and having a lead on game two. JoJo really having a phenomenal performance today. If you look at that, already has him at 73. Freddy finally making a little bit of a comeback in 44%, but getting grabbed on the platform. JoJo not able to get the back here from the uh, back down throw that he did. But 93% is a great opportunity for him to take the stock. Yeah. However, Freddy catches the landing, gets PK fire in the back here. These guys are really trading some heavy hits back they and forth. They are, yeah. And it's 
it's scary because both these characters can kill at really good percentages as well. It's not like either of them struggle to kill. But I would say, <laughs> oh my god, the, yeah, the Jojo bait. with the oh, parasol yeah. landing. <laughs> That was beautiful. He literally went all the way across the stage, got to the other platform while zigzagging. That was so much fun to watch. Yeah, and now he's looking, you know, he's fishing for the forward air, fishing for the back air. Uh, we see him floating around on ledge, trying to put this pressure on Foe. Really call out his Ooh. option right here. Foe with the PK Thunder juggle. Yeah, now the PK Thunder is putting a lot of pressure on Jojo, oh, and he's not able to survive. Yeah. He's not really being one of the heaviest characters in the game. So that actually was able to go ahead and kill midway through at 130%. Uh, but uh, Jojo responds with a forwarder on the side of the stage. Oh my gosh, and then he gets a turn to forwarder, to dash tech, now up air, back air, 68% so fast. Jojo showing everybody in Vegas that, you know what, I can put some damage on too. Don't call me an underdog. <laughs> oh my gosh, one of those forwarders Ooh. so close to ending the stock here. But Freddy yeah. comes back with magnet to neutral air, doesn't convert anything off of that, and then Jojo says, here's a neutral air of my own. Puts him at 111% uh, and now, PK Thunder. Notice how every time Freddy starts utilizing PK Thunder on the stage, it's giving him a lot of pressure. That, and I don't know, maybe Jojo's not ready. Ooh, that air dodge to the ground. Mm -hmm. Kind of sus. I'm not no. sure. Well, I was going to go on that tangent uh -oh. of PK Thunder. It's such uh -oh. a difficult move to deal with. Yeah. And it can be very irritating when you don't really have a lot of experience. I want to attribute that ledge guard. Uh, maybe not just, just like... Uh, you know, Peach or Freddy being uh, mm -hmm. an, an awkward spot, but I want to give a lot of credit to Sonics for that one because Sonics was actually edge guarding Foe a lot by yes. coming down, dropping the spring, then yeah. uh, just pretty much just doing the homing attack with Sonic. Granted, Sonic Peach different characters, but if you yeah. looked at the way that played out, very reminiscent of Sonic. So you can tell JoJo may have been watching a lot of the play against Foe Possibly, and has yeah. some tools in his bag because he's 50% away. Uh, well, I want to say, excuse me, one stop away from actually securing a spot in Winter Semis as the first seed. Yeah. So. Foe really has to catch up with this if he doesn't want to get knocked into the losers very early. And speaking of catching up, he was actually able to go ahead and get that back throw to secure uh, that stock. Yeah, but Jojo does not want to let this lead slip from, you know, he could taste victory. Yeah, he's got him at 90%. I mean, Peach has some powerful moves. We're talking about up smash, forwarder, off the ledge, even back here. Oh. Neutral is going to go ahead and get some damage. He's off oh stage right now. Goodness. This yeah, is where Peach it's thrives. Look really at all this. Scary. You may not see a lot of buttons, but Peach in flow oh, has options to so many. And I think this oh is. my gosh, and that's going to do it. And JoJo, hands in his face, <laughs> was able to secure the 2 0. Very clean. Uh, that's 2 out of 3. It should be, yeah, 2 out of 3. It's semis. Semis is when it's 3 out of 5. And uh, JoJo actually getting his, uh, I think that was his first victory on Freddy. Yeah. Um, so, so, hey, you know what? He is on fire. He kind of whooped me today. Uh, he was able yeah. to take out the number one seed in winter side. And so let's see how he's going to do. He's guaranteed himself a spot in top eight winter side, guaranteeing himself uh, a matchup with either. Who's actually on the other side of that bracket? Uh, I'm going to take a look here at that bracket because it's a little spicy now. Oh, it's actually going to be. Oh, oh so Juice actually upsets Zyro, and Zarek is actually going to be in winner's semis. Ooh, okay. Oh, so we're going to have JoJo versus Zarek. We're going to have Peach and Greninja in winner semis. That's going to be actually really exciting. I'm, I'm so looking forward to watching that match. I really hope I don't have to play so I can go ahead and commentate that one. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. And then on the other side of Winter's side, we have Waldo actually beating Frog, and then yeah, uh, Chase taking it over to Tomato. So we will be seeing Waldo and Frog. Um, Wait. And the win side of, uh, so Waldo Frog, Zer so actually our top eight is almost set. We have Foe and Vote fighting it out for top eight, and then Juice and Hulk. On the one, can I get Frog and Z on the one? Oh, well, so much, one. so much for that. I guess we're starting top eight. All right, see you guys. Bye. Actually, I'm gonna take a break too. Yeah. Huh? What? Okay, guys, we're gonna be going to a commercial break. So go get some snacks, some water, and we'll see you again soon. Hello and welcome to the Knockdown Live event here at the HyperX Esports Arena at Luxor in Las Vegas, Nevada. Wow. What the heck, bro? Oh. Fishing MP the sky, but with the board 
Be careful! You listen, listen to Vegas pop up. Never in my life have I seen that happen. Oh, and whoa, whoa, back. whoa. And we're back with the man himself, Jojo. He just took fall out. Yes. Send him to losers. How do you feel right now? Uh, I'm still shaking, you know. I just had a body experience about it. I don't know. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dude, honestly, it was looking like really dominant. Yeah. I watched the whole game and you were doing so good. Your ledge trapping was like insane. I hope so, you know. I've played like 10 sets against him or something in bracket now, so I hope by now that like I've taken games Dude, before yeah. that per set. But now we're entering top eight, I think. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And we've got up coming Z and Frog. Z and Frog, which is sure to be a very good yes, set. Yes, sir. Oh, he's Frog running the Diddy, the Diddy though. Diddy he's what? running the Diddy? Oh, Dropping yes. Bayo? Okay.